Who's the daddy? Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to deal with the sewer beast from the game Vampire. What sort of creature is this? Now, if like me, you're encountering this particular beast early on in the game, when you've not really leveled up that much, then you may find this quite challenging. I'm kind of trying to play this game quite ethically, so as it says at the beginning of the game, the game difficulty will depend on how many citizens you do actually feed off. So I've at this point only actually fed on one citizen and really to be honest with you I'm not actually that leveled up. If you guys have leveled up quite a lot you may find this enemy really really easy but for those of you that aren't then hopefully in this guide I'm going to give you a few pointers so you can take it out. Now this particular battle is more about patience than anything else. If you get impatient or you move too slowly, the sewer beast is going to take you out pretty quickly. It hits you with a couple of swipes of its claws and it does devastating damage as you can see. So at this stage I was nearly dead. We do want to really be using a kind of weapon that's really going to cause some stun damage. By using the stake on the sewer beast a number of times not only can you interrupt some of its attacks if timed correctly you can actually also get the option to be able to feed on it and by feeding on the sewer beast you can obviously build up your blood meter we need the blood meter to be able to use our healing that we're using here and you know some of our other powers or other powers that you may have unlocked at this stage but I'm using the hatchet because it's quite fast, but any weapon really that you guys have got that is relatively fast, because if you're using a two-handed weapon or something that's a little bit heavier, you may find it's a little bit too slow and you may get interrupted. So just check your kind of stamina and speed that the weapon uses before you encounter this particular monster. So by using the circle button to dodge, we can use that dodge move. Keeping an eye on the stamina meter, it's really important. Like any games, like use stamina meters like Dark Souls and you know other similar games, you really do need to take that into consideration. Because if you're running out of stamina when you are right close to the sewer beast, it's going to swipe you and potentially kill you. I found by keeping away from it until it's done a few of its attacks, sometimes it stumbles a little bit after a, an attack by overreaching, you can then really take advantage of again using that stake weapon to stun by pressing triangle and getting a few hits and a few swipes of your own powers and weapons in there. If you guys pretty much stick to this process, be patient and just keep kind of circling around the beast, getting a few hits in there every now and then, before you know it, you're going to whittle it down and you're going to be able to defeat the beast. So hopefully a few tips there you guys have taken if you're struggling with this particular monster from the game Vampire. If you've taken any tips or if this has helped at all in any way, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and just watch this space for more Vampire Combat tips. So I'll catch you guys on another video, and thanks for watching. Who's the daddy?